the mind completely exposed the simulation game of humans the mind of man possess so many abilities if the mind were to be personified we would liken it to be like a powerful machine built in the language of aliens and before i continue this or uh, this audiobook was written and read by guard science watermarking this audiobook showing that i myself own this audiobook although you are free to resell after paying for or buying from guard science as i read on and the first step to being able to use the machine is to be able to understand the language of the aliens Understanding the language is hard sometimes because you must have made the machine function poorly. The accurate understanding of the language will enable you use the machine properly. The mind has a lot of functions, but if you can know all functions of the mind, then you will have no troubles in your life. The following are the only functions of the mind and you should follow strictly. Number one, an environment for internal exchange of internal products between you and life. Life keeps recommending internal products to you always. And if you are not conscious of this circle going on, then you would be purchasing the wrong sets of thoughts all the time. So most of the thoughts that flash your mind are just products in it. Internal market uh just, sorry i just products in the internal market and the products are just products and not connected to you usually if you can know this carefully then you are on your step to change changing things in your life get my audiobook the mind and god for free so you grasp this concept of the of the mind being a marketplace for thoughts and you know what the thoughts are not bought with money but by action and focus Many people consistently buy thoughts which turn out to be allergic to them. What does it mean to feel something? Feelings have been taught to us as coming from the result of our thinking. If this is true, then why don't most people feel happy? And why is it hard to stay connected and truly get what we want? I think science has failed in only telling us that feelings are neurochemicals. The idea of feelings coming from neurochemicals does not solve the problem in any way. Why don't we feel unwanted? Why do we feel unwanted? Why do we feel shy? Why do we sometimes feel we can't achieve what we want? Why do we sometimes feel drained? Why do we sometimes feel disconnected? Why do we sometimes not trust ourselves? Why do we always think others are better than us? Why do we hate ourselves? Why do we think we should live in a certain way for the rest of our lives? Why do we achieve less than we should? Why do we always not have the freedom to freely think? Why do we stay and feel certain things all the time? Here is the answer to the above unanswered questions. Our feelings are in no way connected to our heads. Rather, it is connected to the internal market. In this internal market, you will find a site for your feelings. It is through your feelings that the actual process of buying from the internal market takes place. So don't expect it to be always clean or neat. Rather, expect it to be always dirty and rough. Have you ever been to a slaughter? Do you think it is always neat? Nope. It is not always neat unless at the very start of the market. This is an accurate description of the feeling in man. This is why no matter how hard you try, your feelings always seem to get out of your control. So, just understand that it is and should always look rough. The aliens don't need you to find this code. So, they influence the recommendations of your internal product so you can be distracted mostly if you are on the path of finding it. The mind is the marketplace and your feelings is a site for the buying. If you can find this code, you will actually live in heaven and being conscious.
The title of this audiobook was unknown to me, but there seemed to be, be the urge to put this into paper. In this audiobook, you will be exposed to information that will make things happen in your life. This life is something still unknown or mysterious to many individuals. The world we're living in could be a simulation, as many would say, and I agree. But even if it is a simulation, we still need to understand how it works because if we don't, we won't do things as expected by the force that formed us all. Going as far as intended is the desire of many, but the environment, habitual thoughts of many people have trapped them down to the mud. Down to the mud means disgrace. As we should know that going as far as I intend is different from just wanting to be successful. If you must do this, then you need to first examine the things going on in your mind. The mind is a dangerous place if you don't grasp the true nature of nature or discussion of it. Life seems to many people like a place we live, eat, procreate, and die. If you do see it this the, uh, the way above, then a change in the above is the first step to or the first step you must take to do something new. We might have been simulated by a higher power, but in this audiobook, I won't call it God. We should think logically about it and get God out of this issue. This is a big problem, and if we leave it unsolved, the world may go extinct because everyone is going to die. Almost all individuals are confused about the mind. Many people fall into quarrels, fights, etc. because of thoughts they are not in control of. We need to look into this idea critically and stop using science books to educate ourselves. I beg to defer that science has failed in the aspect of describing the mind. A valid proof is the rise in depression rates despite the increase in technology. It's time to solve this problem naturally and not trying to use some artificial mechanisms such as machines to solve this problem. If there is anything we must do here is we must try to understand the language of the aliens who might be simulating us. We have proofs from quantum physics and other fields of studies in physics that the world is 50% likely not real. And scientists like David Hoffman, Space Time is Doom, are on the journey to bringing out the mathematical proofs that this world is fake and that it ceases to exist as soon as one dies. According to David Hoffman's description, this life is like putting on a headset and we dying simply means taking off the headset to see the actual real world which, might, which may also turn out to be simulated. When you put on the headset for a game, you would realize that what you seen in the headset looks 100% real and no doubt this is what life is. The scientists went further to say that when we die, we take off the headset. So, death is not death, but the actual process of taking off the headset. I am agreeing to David Hoffman's description that this world is completely a simulation. We are all living in a simulation. We just have to be conscious of this heli so it changes our directions and focus. If this world is a simulation, then we must get rid of jobs that help people remain fixed about this world not being a simulation. The, uh, the likes of math mechanical engineering etc. We would focus more on jobs that help us see our true self. If only you can accept that we might or we have been simulated by some aliens then 
your focus desires will change and will begin to tap into the powers given to this head. If this is not a simulation, then why are there nine planets? Why not one? This shows we need to find out what is actually happening, and I beg to differ that science is trying. Science is failing on this because if they study, if they study, then why is depression still all over the world? Why are people still losing control of their minds? Science needs to do more. Here is a secret. This world is not real. This world is a simulation. The entire universe is a simulation. We are all living in a dream world of someone we have not yet known. This world is a dream of some aliens. Understanding the language of the aliens could be difficult to deal with. This is because the aliens themselves want the coding they use to simulate humans and the entire world to be private. So if we must solve this problem, we must stop studying what we see, rather we should start screening things and not accepting things the way they appear, but rather we should start trying to crack the code these aliens have used on us all. Do you ask yourself why the breakups? Do you ask yourself why the wars? Do you ask yourself, do you need, you need to ask yourself because in order for all those things to stop, each human need to carefully crack their personal code in these aliens have used on house hall. These aliens know that if we can crack the code, we will be able to know their exact location and we will be able to see what they do and this world might disappear. How would you like such a thing to happen? Wouldn't you like us all to still live and be free from what people think, mistakes, failures, bad decisions, etc? Sure, you do. This world is a simulation. I am Gary Science from Nigeria saying this with 100% proof. I am a Nigeria, Nigerian born in Delta State and currently living in Worry at the time of this audiobook. The mind and our business. How should this affect her business? Being successful in your business has nothing at all to do with how you see the world. It has nothing to do with how you think because your thoughts don't come from you, rather from the internal market. And your thoughts are just products life recommends to you. And you being these internal products, and you buying these internal products through your actions for thoughts cannot exist without action, vice versa. So as long as you move, shake your head, your high balls, life must keep recommending products to you. This is the truth of this universe you must know. Trying to find the code these aliens have used to simulate us is a part of the game. This is why some books say we are living in a game. This is actually true. The game here doesn't mean trying to achieve your goals, competition, etc. The game here is we humans trying to find this code. Finding this code will lead us to the heaven Jesus described in the Bible book of Revelations. So, in the real sense, we are in a simulation and the game is we tr humans trying to crack the code and the aliens are trying to crack the code and the aliens are trying to make it hard sometimes this should help you know that your business is not a game rather also a way you could try to find this code everyone is trying to find this code in one way or the other but we are not all in for this your business is not your business but a tool you can use to crack this code or find the code if you can see or find this code, even it's 
So even if it's some part of it, you will be able to do and see things like the aliens do. And when this happens, you will become the aliens. Powerful and completely supernatural, not being controlled by circumstances, but you being able to control circumstances on other pilots. So if you want to if you want success in your business with zero negativity, you must find the complete code or some part of it. And in order to do this, you must constantly take actions and avoid previous mistakes. Doing this could help you see some part of the code. Note some of the internal products in the internal markets which exist in the mind are there to stop you from seeing this code. So what do you do now? Do what so what do you now do since you know your success is in this code? Your in, your inner being is still simulated, but they are on another level of it. So they know better than us because they are on a higher level of the simulation business and the mind. If you want to make huge money from your business, you must understand that your feelings are the buying sites for internal products such as your thoughts and you buying internal product by actions if you want to conduct your business properly and make money you must first get rid of individuals who make you feel less than you are humans are living in a simulation and if we all must get this clear get this on time we have to change our belief system about this world and how it works and we all must go all in for this trying to actually discover the secrets behind this universe the secrets behind the nine planets why not one planet why is there a sun why is there no absence of